As we all know, there are many Republican states that are fighting Joe Biden on his efforts to provide some student loan debt relief. And in order to really launch a, a legal challenge against it, they have to show, these governors have to show that it's actually causing harm. There are damages as a result of Biden's efforts to relieve some student loan debt. Now the six states in question here are Arkansas, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, and South Carolina. And what they're specifically referring to is a little known loan service provider who will likely lose out on profits should Biden's debt relief program actually go through. Okay, so uh, let's let's talk a little bit about this company. Um, so they're suing on behalf of the company, even though the company is not named as a plaintiff here. Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt, one of the lead plaintiffs in the lawsuit, is arguing this that a state created loan company called uh, Mohila, which is Missouri Higher Education Loan Authority, would bring in less revenue if fewer students had debt. According to the lawsuit, that's relevant because. Mohella is required to make payments to a state fund that gives to Missouri's public universities. So let's pause for a second because there's this whole industrial complex associated with student debt. And people literally make money off of student debt. And these are the individuals, this is the real story behind why there's no student debt relief. It's because there are companies making money off of it. It's because in this case, the loan servicer is receiving major government grants in order to service these loans. They're bringing in a ton of revenue through servicing the loans and they don't wanna give up that money. Okay, so guys, at this point, basically what we have is companies are saying, you know what, I demand a profit. So I was making money ripping off students and charging them. Now, by the way, for servicing the debt, they weren't necessarily ripping anybody off. But the fact that they have to pay that debt was already getting ripped off. And then you have to pay money for the servicing fees. And so they're like, hey, we had a good racket there, right? And the government says, well, we don't wanna rip off these students anymore. We wanna pay their debt. They go, whoa, 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 I was making a profit over here. I demand to make more profit. Mm -hmm. But that's not a thing, guys. And if you're a right winger, we're like, oh, big business, I love big business. Excuse me, you gotta have the freedom to screw over the students. But hold on, is this capitalism? I thought you guys love capitalism. What part of capitalism do we guarantee companies profit? That's not how capitalism works. It's how it works in America. It does, because it's crony capitalism, it's corporatism, and both the Republican and Democratic parties generally low. But in this case, it's the Republican party that's trying yeah. to screw over students for sure. So let's get into some of the details with Politico reporting the facts on this. They write, seizing on the harm to loan servicers that work for the education department like Mohila, was the best opportunity to bring a successful lawsuit, said Phil Kirpin, a conservative political organizer who leads American commitment and was an early proponent of the strategy and circulated the idea in conservative circles. Again, look, they had to figure out a way in order to bring this to the courts, this challenge to the courts, they had to prove or provide some example of how Biden's debt relief program cause damages, financial damages to their state or to companies within their states. And it's also worth noting that no other loan servicing company has sued the Biden administration over this debt relief plan that he had announced not too long ago. Now technically, this debt servicer, Mohila, hasn't sued either, but and the company is not a party to the case, however, Mohila officials from the company have also sought to reassure Democratic congressional aides and by and the Biden administration officials that they were not involved in the Missouri Attorney General's lawsuit seeking to block debt relief, according to people familiar with those conversations. But at the very least, Mohila does stand to financially benefit if Biden's plan is overturned. Right. Yeah. So, how much? Like, what, what kind of impact is it going to have? Keep in mind that uh, they're bringing in millions of dollars a year in in in, in servicing these uh, loans. Uh, here is some information from. Um, well, here's the other thing. We should talk a little bit about how this came about, because under the Obama administration back in 2010, his thinking was 
we need to cut the banks out of this, right? Let's cut the middlemen out. And instead, just have this federal student loan program that doesn't deal with the banks and the high interest rates. It's just the government providing the loans, the government in some ways servicing the loans. Because remember, Mohila and other debt servicers in this case are receiving government grants. And the thinking was this will save money for the students. Kind of, but, it it was, didn't. <laughs> but mainly it was because the uh, the banks were making a lot of money in giving the uh, the loans out. And when the government basically said, wait, I don't know why, see if we're guaranteeing the loan, the bank has really no role in this at all. And the banks were like, what the hell, we're guaranteed profit. So Obama was like, well, okay, well, let's transition you. Instead of making a needless interest rate on it, you'll service the loans and you do, somebody has to service the loans and we'll, we'll privatize that in a sense and let you do it and make money off that. All right, look, I can live with it and it saves some jobs in some local communities. We don't owe them anything, but it's a fine deal, right? It's not the end of the world. But now when we say, hey, look, there's not as much debt to service because we decided it was unfair to pile all this debt onto people. They can't afford anything. they basically become chattel of large corporations. So we're trying to actually look out for the average American. These guys come and go, whoa, 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 we, were, we demand profits. We were promised profits for the rest of our lives. No, that's not a thing. But here come those six Republicans who want to destroy the average American getting anything. They're like, student debt relief, that doesn't go to any of our corporate donors. Yeah, so Mohila now manages the accounts of nearly 7 million federal student loan borrowers, more than double what it had just two years ago. Okay, so they keep making more and more money because this student loan debt issue uh, continues to explode. Uh, last year, how much did it bring in? Whopping $130 million in revenue, the bulk of which came from its federal contract to service student loans. Okay, they don't want to do away with that. So while they might not be the ones spearheading these lawsuits, they clearly have no problem being noted as the uh, debt servicer that is being financially harmed as a result of Biden's student loan debt relief program. Yeah, so two things about this, guys. Look, this case is total nonsense. Uh, but what they're trying to do is just put a fig leaf on it so we can get to the Supreme Court. They're like, oh, Mohila was guaranteed profits, not a thing in the real world. Uh, and we were gonna take a part of their profits uh, as a state of Missouri but in taxes. So that's now we're harmed because you need to be harmed in order to do a lawsuit. Otherwise, why are you in the courts? So they're just trying to find a way for Clarence Thomas to go, good enough. Okay, right. goddamn students, back to the mines, right? And so this is gonna test whether the Supreme Court, I mean, we already know how this is gonna turn out. Whether the Supreme Court has any principles at all. They don't. Or if they just work for multinational corporations. And of course, they're gonna prove that they're gonna screw you guys over. Even though it was a rare case where Biden was actually trying to do the right thing. So, and last thing on this is, if Biden wants to send a message, now he could go tougher, right? I will preface this with, there's not a chance in the world that Joe Biden will do this. But if there was a populist progressive president, when you go to Mohila, who's very concerned about losing their government contracts, because that's how they make their money. In fact, the other debt servicers did not join the lawsuit because they were super concerned about losing the government contracts, right? So then you punish Mohila for joining these idiot Republicans who are trying to take away and end your program that was actually gonna help average Americans. That would be strong. That would be very strong. Mm. And you know what their executives are saying? They're like, oh, Mr. President, we had no idea this, our executives had nothing to do with this lawsuit. I just called them into the White House, but no, 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 you're coming to the White House. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now tell me why you guys are all such idiots that you joined a lawsuit without knowing that you were joining a lawsuit and there was nothing you could do, so you're totally incompetent and you claim that you could run this on behalf of the government and I'm supposed to give you hundreds of millions of dollars every year when you just declared right here in the Oval Office yep. that you're morons and incompetent. Go ahead, say it again. Say it again, they drop the lawsuit the next day, otherwise you terminate their contract. Ooh, oh my God, but that would be, but then the Republicans and mainstream media would yell at you for hurting a beloved company. Look, it's called guts. It, if anyone ever fought for you in American politics, those are the things that they would do, but they won't. Biden did the right thing here in the first place, but he'll lay down after that. That's as big an effort as he can give. But the main culprits here are the state level Republicans who can't stand the idea of a young person not be 
shackled down in debt for the rest of their lives to serve their corporate donors.